thought I'd give him a chance because everybody was saying, oh yeah, listen to Pop Smoke, he's good. And I'm like listening to this song and I'm like, this is annoying, man. He ain't saying nothing. Sunset was supposed to be at 6.30. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am here at Mount Hosaka. I am back at it for a solo hike this time and i am going to get started here uh thank you to the two ladies that i met they were hiking down uh when i was starting and they told me it only takes about 30 minutes to get to the top while google map has it down as taking uh two hours to get to the top so that information was greatly appreciated it only took me about 35 40 minutes to get up there you can see according to the map that i am going to the top here to the uh, little shrine and we are about 45 minutes, maybe an hour southwest of Nagoya City and just west of Issei Bay. Before I forget to say, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and leave any feedback down in the comments section. That way I can know what you think about the video, about the channel, and I can do my best to make it better. Yeah, I'm gonna get a sweat going. So I get to Hosaka Trail uh, parking area at approximately 5 p.m. and it's a uh, the parking's right on the main road. It's a long winding road up the mountain, and uh, as you're getting there, you'll see it on the right hand side. There's a just there's just about maybe space for 10 cars. And as I pull in there at 5 p.m., I notice there are about three or four cars in the parking area. And it seems that people hike up here for sunset to say uh, prayers at the two shrines that are located on the trail. One uh, halfway up and one at the very top. Uh, I pass a few hikers coming down and on my way up and I pass one going up on my way down uh, at sunset. Because I stepped off at 5.30 to go up, uh, I had approximately one hour to get up and down if I didn't want to get caught on the trail uh, in the darkness of night. So um, I'm a little bit under the gun, I guess, for a time, uh, time crunch. So this trail was uh, intermediate. I would say, I would say a, a beginner could do this trail. You don't really need to have hiking boots. Trail shoes would be uh, recommended. I don't know if if I would take kids on this trail, but uh, I would say uh, a beginner adult would definitely enjoy this trail uh, if you're looking for something short and sweet. It's very intense. It's just all uphill, and I think it plateaus twice for about maybe maybe a, a good minute or so, but the rest of it is just all uphill for the uh, 30, 40 minutes that you're climbing. And that's why I wouldn't bring uh, small children, uh, maybe under the age of 10. I wouldn't recommend that for uh, this type of trail. One other note I'd like to add uh, in uh, helping you prepare to do this trail is uh, there is no public transportation to this uh, parking area. Uh, the closest transportation would be into uh, Matsusaka City uh, via train, which is about 15 minutes from here by car. So if you were in a rental, you could probably get here 45 minutes from Nagoya, or if you were in Matsusaka, you can get here in about 15 minutes. 
What's up, buddy? What's up, dude? Oh baby. All right, take care. This is so dark. I'm on the final ascent uh, to the top, and uh, the gentleman I passed by told me it's going to be about another. 10 to 15 minutes and he was exactly right uh, i got to the top uh, at six uh 10 after six which gave me about 20 minutes to get down before it got dark uh down to the uh parking uh, area and if uh, i hiked up in 40 minutes i was assuming that getting <sighs> down in 20 minutes was going to be about right uh, that, that's usually how it goes uh, when you're hiking up, it always takes a little longer than when you're going down because you have to stop for water and etc. <laughs> going up. Just depends on how in shape you are. Uh, I am in moderate shape, so yeah, I stopped a few times, but coming down is way easier. And uh, yes, the view at the top is amazing, uh, especially at sunset. I don't know if I would do this hike in the morning. Uh, but this sunset, because it's so short, this sunset uh, type of, uh, uh, I would say, uh, th th the whole, the whole uh, idea of doing it at sunset is perfect because as you get to the top and uh, you're looking over uh, at the sun going down, it's just kind of a, kind of re a rewarding experience uh, versus I think morning would be a little different. Maybe if you hiked up before the sun rose in the morning, but it's not as nice as something like when you hike up Fuji and you're watching the sunrise. So. I can see the top. I am dead out of breath at this point, but because it's already 10 after 6 and I know it gets dark at 6.30, once I saw the top, I realized I can't stop no matter how tired I am. I want to get up there. So I can take it all in for a couple minutes before I start my descent. Oh. Hiking. All right, no more photos. Let's get down. Well, that's about it. 
I hike down and about 20 minutes back to the car. It gets dark before I actually uh, get off the trail, but no problem. I have a light and uh, really didn't even end up using it. But uh, hey, these videos are coming out about a week after I do the hike, just because they take a little while to edit. I'm doing this editing at night after I get off my day job. But uh, if you see my Instagram, you'll know that there's a video coming up on YouTube soon. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next video. 6.32 right now. Sunset is supposed to be at 6.30. Still got sun on the horizon over here to my uh, to my west. Mission accomplished, baby.